A local theater company is forced to cancel its production of To Kill a Mockingbird because of a legal threat from the Broadway production. The Dayton Playhouse was set to premiere the play next week. And new on 5 on 2, Dana Smith talked to the company about what happened. Officials here at the Dayton Playhouse say the cancellation has cost them thousands of dollars in lost revenue, and the entire cast is disappointed. It was devastating. I, as chair of the board, had to inform the cast that we were having to cancel the production. And I mean, there were tears, there was anger in the room. Two weeks before the play was set to have its opening night, the company received a letter from the producers of the Broadway production. Demanding that we not perform the production based on uh, their their belief that would be infringing on their copyright. And they're not the only theater company who received the letter. Theaters in Buffalo, New York, up in Massachusetts, Tennessee, Utah, all having to shut down their productions for the same reason and having received essentially the same letter. The cost associated with a potential legal battle for the show to go on, just too big for the Dayton Playhouse to bear. Last night, we uh, provided the cast with what would be traditionally our end of show cast party. Um, to try and make up for things, but it, it, it's really heartbreaking. Actors already had their lines memorized. Set and costume designers were working on the final touches, and tickets had already been sold. We're figuring on about a $15,000 loss. Dana Smith, 5 on 2.